Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Everybody, if you can, come on in. Come on in. What a special night it is going to be. And I'm glad to see everybody. I see you all coming in. I see, and I set up for you, all of you. Okay, we have a few people in our email chat. Email chat. It's good to see you. Please come on in. For those of you who are peeping, come on in. We got a good special guest that's going to come on tonight. And uh, like and share your page. Let everybody know, yo, we're on. Come on in. We're here. We're here in the land of the living. <clears throat> and it is 6 p.m. Yeah, I do know that we normally come on at about, uh, you know, 10, 10.30 in the morning. But because we have our special guest, Mr. Trey Trainee is coming in. You see what I'm saying? He'll be in a few minutes. Uh, I want to definitely, you know, have you to come on in, come on in so that we can get started. Rather you coming in the business line, rather you coming in, let me know where you're shouting out from. Let me do, do me a favor. Let me know what borough you're shouting out from. <clears throat> you're from Brooklyn, you're from Queens, you're from the Bronx, you're from Manhattan, Staten Island, where, wherever you are. What state you're calling you from? You know what I'm saying? Let me know, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. Glad to see you. Listen, it is 601. I want to say welcome to Manifest Ghost Podcast. We're helping people bring their imagination into reality. And our first starting goals here is to help 500 people to bring their imagination into reality by way of work. We want to coach you through it. By the way, we meet it for the first time. My name is Donald Francis. It's so nice to meet you. And with all love, peace, gratitude, and all of that good stuff. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to see us here, but you'll see us at It's Life Podcast. It's located right there on YouTube and Facebook. Guess what? We just released a quick little short film skit. Under the name of um, not, nothing more to say, and you'll find it right there. It's all U T V I T Z A L L Y O U T V. You know, listen, it's Tuesday, but listen, if you don't get a chance to see us the rest of the week and you want to catch and see, you know, catch up on current events on Manifest Those Podcasts, you'll catch us right there. Channel 49 TV, Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on in, y'all. I'm just glad that you're here. What's up, y'all? Catch us there. Catch us there. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? feeling good i feel really really good today i'm gonna tell you something i feel like i'm in transformation mode yeah <laughs> i don't know what's going on you know oftentimes i tell people all the time uh you know how do, how does this thing happen what's going to happen you know you're being a content creator whether you're a podcaster whether you're a filmmaker whatever the case it be you always wait for that one magical moment to happen and take place and uh for some reason i'm feeling something very very great in this up and coming season just as we talked about just as we promised good to see you good to see you thank you for the hearts Good to see you. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Let's see who's on YouTube. Want to acknowledge you real quick. Gabby, what's going on, my sis? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. I know Steve is coming in very, very soon and stuff like that. We have our special guest that's on the way. Good evening. Good to see you. And, uh, you know, Trey Trainee is on the way. We're having our special guest, Trey Trainee, who is from that HBO series, The Wire. You see what I'm saying? He played, you know what I'm saying, a wonderful, excellent, you know, character he's known all around the world honestly he's, he's known very very known and we're just happy to have him here he's just coming in and backstage and uh, i'm gonna tell you something it's a wonderful thing to know that we can dive into his life today we're talking about success stories you see what i'm saying and uh we know that our ideal audience are those of them who we used to be you now come up with the rhetoric projects brooklyn new york all the way brooklyn stand up rhetoric stand up wherever you are and uh you know obviously we used to be the t- type of individuals that always had aspirations we had goals you know we wanted to just go and, and do certain things but we never ever ac- had ourselves to be accountable by putting it on paper making it real in real time we do know that although we're trying to manifest our thoughts we're trying to manifest our thoughts by way of putting things into work and we want to be your coach to do it so listen y'all we got a special guest man Psh, awesome brother I had a wonderful opportunity want to say shout out to yolanda brathway who is my sis you know what I'm saying she's come to be a heart of mine you see what i'm saying i met him uh, through her and uh you know she had <laughs> she hired me to be the videographer at that particular time i was supposed to be put to work and all of a sudden i got caught up with everybody else and uh but it's been really really great and this brother is a phenomenal brother that gave me the honor of being able to you know you know just come on and give some value you know to all of our people i see you all coming in and i, I don't want to hold him because we have some time that we have to do we have he's on the time of street i'm on time of street but listen y'all he is an actor, he is an artist, he's an entrepreneur, he is a motivational speaker, he is a coach, you know what I'm saying, he loves his family, he's not only a, you know, an actor and all of those wonderful things, but he's a family man, he is a husband, you know what I'm saying, he's a father, you know what I'm saying, he is an inspiration to a lot of people, I mean, he's an awesome brother, and let me tell you, I want to introduce to some, and I don't have to introduce him really, I want to present to y'all on this particular platform, None other than my brother, my friend, that I find him to be a friend, Mr. Trey Trainee. Yo, what's up, sir? 
What's up, my brother? How are you, man? Can you hear me good? I can hear you real good, brother. Real, and real good. You can good. see me clear, right? I can see you clear, bro. And I can see that hat, champion. Come on, <laughs> brother. Looking yeah. good, man. I'm so happy that you've, uh, you know, just come on and, you know, just show some love to your brother, man. Show some love to his, his community. Thank you. And, you know, I know, Trey, you, like myself, you know, we know that there are things that start out just like a tree, like a little seed. You feel what I'm saying? And I thank you for yeah. honoring those seeds, man. You feel what I'm saying? And, thank you, uh, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, man. You know, and, and just allowing for this tree to grow with your presence and stuff like that. Yo, we're not going to hold you long. How you doing, brother? What's I'm up? Good. Man? I'm good, man. I'm just, you know, running city to city, state to state, man. Uh, you know, the documentary, Undeniable, the Trey Cheney story is is doing very well right now on Chaneyway.com. So sure, I've just been out, you know, just just putting in work, man, and really, really getting a message out there to people to just never give up on their dreams and just, you know, yeah. keep pursuing. I always say the term fail forward, you know, oh, even, if, even if you're not doing so great or if you're struggling or if you're going through, you know, money issues or trial and tribulations, man, just continue to work through it to get through it you see what i'm uh, saying awesome and bro. um yeah just you know i'm i'm working on a new movie right now with monetta shaw and and uh whitney cole it's called wow. deadly attraction wow. and i played this character named troy my man okarike wrote it and him and his wife regina okarike they produced and yeah mm -hmm. so i'm in the middle of that and uh you know getting ready for bmf season three march 1st Woo, gonna be dope yes sir, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. So, so Trey, we're going to dive right into it, man, because I'm going to try to get as much as I can out of you. Obviously, Let's you do, do it. Know that. Let's do it, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. You know, and so obviously you do know that, you know, today's topic is success stories, you know, and we want to be able to help, help the brother. Huh? All right, you got it? All right. So we want to be able to help. No, go ahead. All right, okay, cool. So we want to be able to help the brother and or sister that's sitting on the couch, you know what I'm saying, that might have a whole bunch of children, you know, maybe not by choice or whatever, sitting on the couch, wondering how she or he's going to be able to make it from sort of zero. You feel what I'm saying? You yeah. know, I used to be one who would, who would live from paycheck to paycheck, never talking about my zero and, you know, what, what, what number I'll never go, you know, below, you know, right. so to continue, you know, continue to keep it in. And also I want to be able to encourage people that if they wanted to follow their dreams, follow their aspirations, follow whatever vision that they do have, that we do know, Trey, that the key to it is not giving up and being consistent, you know what I'm saying, no matter what adversity. So now, you know, with that being said, and setting that particular table, brother, first of all, I know you've been married for almost 19 years, you know? Well, no, 19. Is it 19 years? Yeah, it's 20, 19. 20, 20 years. Yeah. Jesus, man. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. You know, my wife and I about 17 years, you know? Oh, and so, That's you know, what's I'm up, right, man. right about that to the lovely Aisha, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cheney, <laughs> you know, and uh, you, honestly, you know, I was gonna, it's so funny because I was going to say that also the founder, you know, of Trainingway, but you are Trainingway.com. You got what I'm saying? And yeah, that's yeah Chaneyway.com, man. And, um, you yeah. know, the company, Chaney Vision Entertainment. Yeah. It, it's, it's funny, man, because Chaney Vision Entertainment has always existed, but it was really up and running during the pandemic. Yeah, during mm. 2020 was when I really wow. decided to go hard on it and say, you know what, let me get all of my documents. Let me get this LLC going. It was always a company that was up and running. You know what I'm right. saying? But now with us specializing in producing our own music videos and short films and you know right. we also doing you know undeniable the trey cheney story documentary is is out That's on true. on the site wow. and yeah. cheneyway.com is basically just specializing in direct to consumer communication because for a long time working in this industry you know over 25 30 plus years yeah you don't want people to take your brain or your ideas or use you for whatever that they have going on and make all these billions of dollars and then you left with pennies you know, Absolutely. so um, it really wasn't I, this mentality has always been in my head, but it really didn't get developed until um, when the actors and writers strike started. I'm like, mm -hmm. man, if somebody can just, you know, tell you you can't work, you can't take care of your family, you can't put food on the table. I said no more. Chaneyway.com is my direct connection to my fans, to the consumer and just like now when how I'm talking to you, yeah. if somebody goes to the site and purchases something from Chaneyway.com, it automatically um, comes to my phone. So wow. it's it's that type of communication and that type of relationship mm -hmm. that I've developed, you know, with my fans, um, with people that support Trey Chaney, um, people that have known Trey Chaney since 
maybe 2002 when the wire premiered. You yeah, know, that's that was 22 cool. years. Um, wow. So it's just, man, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very blessed and I'm very thankful and grateful to be in this position, you know, to be able to still be reinventing myself yeah. to still be relevant. Yeah. Um, every time you look up, you know, I, I, I kind of like, I strategize, you know what I'm saying? And, and I put my everything into whatever it is that I'm doing, you know, yeah. and, and that's how these great blessings just continue to fall, man. Yo, bro. I, yo, man, I, you, you, if y'all getting value already, y'all just come on. I mean, you should see people on YouTube right now. My wife is actually on the line and she says she loved that fail forward. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what? Oh, shout out to your wife too, man. It, it, it's love, you know, um, the title Black Love, we, we getting ready to change that though right here on your show, Donald. Bro, Black talk- Love, it's not just a race thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's true love. It's international love. It's worldwide love. So Same. Black Love is cool. But, and of course, you know, the black family, the black union, but this is international love. When you're talking about being with somebody past 19, 20 years, I mean, just think I've been married to my wife for 19. We're going on 20, but I've been with her for 22. Yeah. So this is more than just that term of black love. You know, this is international. This is worldwide. This is every day, you know? So we're, we're, we're changing the narrative as a couple and we're changing the narrative for the world. You know, yeah, yeah. Oh man, yo, let me tell you. And uh, obviously, we know that you're a, an actor extraordinaire, but Thanks you're me. also an artist, right? And we talked about yeah. the you know, black love, bro. When I heard that song, yo, bro, you know, what? I'm gonna tell you what I love about the song, you know. And again, I, I, I want to do it right here in front of people, you know. Yeah, uh, oftentimes on YouTube and oftentimes on Facebook, they often say to everybody, listen, if you want to be able to want, be the one to stand out. You know, all you got to do is the opposite of what everybody else is doing. You know, yeah. we got the mumble rap. You know, we got the, the we got the, what, what they call it, the, the trap rap. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> we got the, you know, the, the gangster rap and all, all of the sturdy dancing and stuff like that. Yep. But bro, you know, and alongside, I'm a 70s mm-hmm. baby. You feel what I'm saying? Hopefully by, by the good Lord's help, I'll be 50 by next month. You, feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? So again, I'm, I'm the 80s dude, you know? Where we had, right. you know, Bismarckies and, and the Big Daddy Canes and you know what I'm saying, the Roxanne right. Chantes and all of that, you know, where we were able to hear certain things. And no this no pun intended by the music today. I'm a musician, so I love all types of music, but I don't know about the art, the, the you know, the lyrics sometimes. But I'm the type of dude that I've come from where you can understand the lyrics, you can understand what people are saying. And you know, even from the R and B days, we talk about the chair is just a chair, even if there's nobody sitting there. We understood, I didn't understand that kind of love back then. But you know, right. as you become older, you get a chance to understand and appreciate somebody understood I was going to go through this. You see what I'm right. saying? So when I take a look at and I listen to your song, bro, I listen to the, the Black Love and how you really esteem women, how you esteem Black love. and But all, like you said, it's not just a Black or color thing. It's an international thing, you know? Because I right. believe love is international. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It, you know, music is a specific international language, but so is love, you know? And yeah. bro, you know, you are doing something and recreating the lane to say it's okay not to mumble. It's okay if you don't want to sturdy. It's okay yeah. to go back and just be the authentic you. And what I love about it also is that you are talking about where you are and the kind of life that you live. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, and I wanted to jump in real quick too, man. Um, Please. that that was the reason why you know when when I wrote records like Bad and Beautiful and. You know, when I when I when I wrote, wrote records like Momentum and, yeah. and you know all of the, which that video featured my whole entire family, my wife, my two kids, and, and my granddaughter. But right. you know, back to bad and beautiful. Th- this was just something that um that that we see every day. The right. bad and beautiful record was to say to women, yeah. all races. Um, you don't have to. You don't have to get lipo. You don't have to get BBLs to feel uh, bad and beautiful. Wow. You know, and um, mm-hmm. I think. Well, not think. I know some of those women might be insecure because they may not have a man like a Trey Cheney or a Donald, you know, telling them, look, you're beautiful how you are. You know, we, we're embracing every every scar, everything you've ever been through with your body. Um, No need to body shame. None of that. You know, so I think that's why Bad and Beautiful is reaching so many parts of women and the guys are like, yeah. man, I respect that, you know, because it's not. It's not something that you're necessarily used to hearing all yeah. the time. And 
that record specifically, I said, I'm only putting that on ShaneyWay.com and I'm looking at my real fans um, just buy the single directly from me. I didn't yeah. want to put it on streaming platforms. That not that one in particular, because I said, man, I just I want to see where my real support is at. Like, are they going to come to this site and are they going to download this record? And you know what I'm saying? Yes, and, sir. And really, really understand the lane that I'm creating in hip hop music. And it's worked for me. You know, it might not work for everybody, but it's yeah. worked. It's worked in a way for me where, you know, I'm opening up for Snoop Dogg. I'm opening up for Big Daddy Kane, Rock Kim. These guys, what they've done for me throughout the years is is something that I'll truly always be grateful and thankful for. And then, you know, to, like I said in the beginning, to continue to reinvent myself yeah. with music, television, film, and now this whole entrepreneurship, businessman, running my own company, Cheney Vision Entertainment, doing direct to consumer communication with Chaneyway.com. I I reinvent myself. Yeah. You know, you I don't let grass grow under my feet. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll never happen. Yes. And yeah. and for me, nobody dictates Trey Cheney's moves. Come on, sir. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. Mm-hmm. I if I have a vision, if, if it's something that I want to do, if it's mm-hmm. something that I like and it's positive and it's uplifting and motivating, I feel that it could change the world, yeah. I go for it. And Trey Cheney doesn't take no for an answer. <laughs> I look at it as if you don't get it today, if you don't get it tomorrow, if you don't get it next month or next year, if you just keep on going, yeah. you'll eventually get it. And yeah. that's where I'm at. I always mm-hmm. say my mentality is just different from a lot of people. I wake up at 4.35 in the morning every morning just to get a jump start before anyone. Mm-hmm. You know, so I- I'm not, I'm wired different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Look, like I said, look, no pun intended on a wire, right? But yeah, right. I'm a wired, different yeah. type of guy. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, and I've always marched to the beat of my own drum. Absolutely. So that's that's who I am. Dopeness. <laughs> Yo, Trey, you everybody know, is watching right now, man. Um, I just wanted to shout you out, Donald, because um, I really appreciate your platform you. on speaking about these type of topics. This is this is different type of interview. You know, it's not just the basic. Hey, when did you come into the business? How did you do this? How did you do that? You know, to to have a real conversation with somebody who can identify with some of my qualities as a man. Um, as a husband, as a father, as a grandfather, I'm really just, yeah, I'm honored to be on, man. Wow, yo, bro, that, yo, man, you hit the heart one, man. I appreciate that. And exactly, <laughs> no, love, yo, you just, I'll be mean, really honest. You just like drop bars just now, you know? And I'm going to tell you something. One of the things that I, I, I appreciate you is that you're not afraid to be you and you you really inspire other people to be themselves. And you know how it is, Trey. Sometimes when people are doing talking head videos or they're doing a podcast, as soon as the, the camera come on, there's somebody else. And they don't yeah. even realize it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You showed us that it's all right to be who you are. And one of the things that I've I've done learn about you, especially during, you know, just digging deep and trying to figure out, you know, Trey Cheney, you don't mind calling and asking about whatever it is that you're trying to pursue so that you can perfect and be the best you that you are. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. You and know? that's one thing. That's one thing that I've always done. Um, It's yeah. funny. I was just doing an interview with my brother today. We were on a platform. My man, J.D. Williams, who played Bodie. And, and that's what he said. He said that on the platform. I didn't even know he felt like that. He just was like, man, Trey was never afraid to ask questions yeah. and um, to, to better the situation. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man, if I'm not putting out positive energy, if I'm not trying to inspire mm-hmm. and motivate the next man or woman or child, then I'm not really I'm not really doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's about like uplifting the next generation, man, to let them know that regardless of trials and tribulations, that you, you'll you always come out on top if you just keep going, you know? Absolutely. Yo, Trey, let me say, you know, you've started your career at eight years of age, correct? Yeah. I always tell people that too, Donald. I, I knew what I wanted to do at eight. Mm, like, my, I mean, anybody that's in my family would tell you um, when I started dancing, you know, because like my family come from a big family the Cheney's um legendary family man they just always had like big parties and you know you just see see people dancing and <laughs> singing and rapping and stuff like that so I guess the dancing came naturally yeah. but I knew what I wanted to do at eight years old I knew when I stepped foot on the Apollo stage at eight 
through the support of, you know, my uncle James Cheney, Jimmy, my mom and dad, Skippy Lane, I, I knew I I wouldn't do anything else. Yeah. You know, like I, it, it was either, it was going to be some type of form of entertainment. <laughs> right, right. It wasn't just going to be, you know, dance, yeah. act, rap. I'm, I'm everything wrote up yeah. in one. Yeah. You know, so yeah. yeah. And, and to be, to look back on my career at eight years old to now, I'm like over 30 something years. I'm Ooh. like, man, I guess Ooh. God just has his hand on me. Like, yeah. okay. Mm. Yeah. And, and then, and then don't get me wrong. It'd it be some, some down times, you know what I'm saying? Times get tough. And, um, but I just, my thing is when times get tough, as long as I'm still living and breathing, as long as I'm not mm. six feet mm. under, then mm. I still got a chance to, uh, change me and my family's life for the best. And that's what I, that, that's the attitude I wake up with every day. I mean, of course we human beings and we always going to feel whatever emotion it is, especially if it's bad. If it's, if you sad, if you crying, if, if things not going well, you always going to feel yeah. every single emotion because you're human. Yeah. Absolutely. But you people, they have to be grateful and thankful for the fact that they are able to feel you know, because some people like me and you on here talking right now, sure. some people ain't wake up this morning to do an interview with you. Come you know on. what I'm saying? Yeah. Some bro. people might not wake up tomorrow. God forbid. I pray every day that me and my family wake up and, and my loved ones. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I just, I don't take life for granted. Yes. Absolutely. You know, yes. Sir. Life is, is beautiful, man. And, and it's beautiful through all, through all of it. It's yeah, beautiful yeah. through the rain. Sleet, snow, hell, heaven. Wow. It's beautiful through everything. Yeah, Trey. That's so come People on. Have son. to live life. Absolutely. Yo, Trey, let me say, man. And, and again, yo, you didn't hop on a lot of stuff that I was gonna ask you about. And, and you know, yeah. and you, you you mentioned something while you were talking, which is very, very interesting. You know, from the time of eight, you knowing, you know, say yeah. how. You what what you wanted to do? What you didn't know exactly where you're gonna land, but you knew you had something that you're gonna be somebody in whatever lane that we're gonna be in. And you mentioned how you re reinvented yourself. You know yeah. how has Trey reinvented himself from the time? You know of and I would like to because again I know that your first acting gig technically was The Wire. You know right? How how have you reinvented yourself yeah. from that time to well, now? Well, you know, um, I was very fortunate, like I said, at a young age to to know. Yeah. what i wanted because a lot of a lot of young people yeah that age and i don't expect a, a eight-year-old to tell me right now <laughs> what you want to be i guess i was one of the special ones right. to just tell people hey i'm a dancer i'm i'm in the entertainment business that that was my my uh the term that i always use since eight i'm in the entertainment business when somebody right. would tell me what i what do you do yeah you know and um i guess from eight years old to 19 mm -hmm. because 19 was like when the dancing and all of that slowed down hip-hop gotcha. was always a part of my life but my first job as an actor was the wire so when yeah. you go from just dancing the reinvention started to come when i booked the wire that was a way mm. of reinventing myself mm. maybe um 11 years of just wow. performing so yeah. the first reinvention donna was being cast on the HBO series, The Wire. But I'm gonna tell you what else, another way I reinvented myself, it was when The Wire ended. Wow. Because of course, you know, my story is, I wasn't getting a lot of calls from Hollywood. Okay. And you know, with The Wire being my first job, I automatically thought, this is it. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't know what came with that. Mm -hmm. uh, a whole bunch of pain, suffering, and and being broke, <laughs> yeah, that, that came with it. Yeah, so I had on, to hurry. On. I had to quickly. Um, if this is something that I wanted to do, I had to quickly like change my mindset and snap into entrepreneurship mode. And another reinvention was in 2010, mm. 2010 to 2015, the whole hustle mentality of Trey Cheney and the the go getter and really getting out here selling merch out the trunk of my car in D.C. Yeah. Whether people bought or whether they didn't, I didn't let nothing stop me. You know, that led to another reinvention when George Pierre out here in Atlanta, he called me and said, I heard what you're doing in the street back right. home in D.C. 
Mm. I have a role for you because I'm a big fan. That was his exact words. Wow. So, I mean, just think sometimes anybody that's listening right now, you might think whatever you're doing right now is just not working. But if you know deep down inside in your heart that whatever you're doing is positive, you just got to keep at it, man. And I'm just somebody who I've had those moments. I've had, I'm still having those moments. You know, I had the moment when, you know, after selling merch in the streets of Washington, D.C., then George P.A. calls Saints and Sinners. And then you get six seasons of Saints and Sinners. Mm. When Saints and Sinners ended, it was a little tough. I'm like, I don't know what my next move is, yeah. but I definitely know that I'm not going to give up. Then Come boom, we, then we own this city. You know, <laughs> so I'm getting flown back to where I originally started. It was all, it was a full circle moment. So yeah. I'm yeah. used to those moments. I just, my thing is, I know it'll never be a time where I look up and be like, Man, I don't know what my next move is. <laughs> right, the next right, move right. is on the way. I'm not worried about getting Stay millions straight. and billions because it's, it's it's on the way. Everything that I pretty much spoke up to this point really came into existence. Wow. And um, one thing that I did was I, I bought me a journal mm-hmm. um, January 1st, 2024. Mm-hmm. And literally it started last year. I was always I, I always write. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about from what I eat, what I do. Uh, what time I do it, the time I work out, yeah, anything. I write everything down. But since January 1st, I can literally tell somebody everything that I've done since the first. Come Every on. single thing. What I ate, what time I woke up, when I worked out, how much money I made, how much money I spent. Because what it is, it's a, yeah. it's a learning experience for myself. I'm trying to learn myself every day. Yes. I'm, I want to be the best. I want to be the best I could possibly be to the highest level, mm-hmm. you know? So me writing down my do's and don'ts and some of the things that may not work for me, it's a study guide. Come on, I'm man. studying myself every day. Come on, bro. And me studying myself is not doing nothing but helping me get better. <laughs> I'm going to just get better. Come on, bro. It's just either get better yeah. or don't do this no more. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't in this... I'm going to be real with you. I ain't in this to be one of the most successful human beings on earth. I'm not in this just to chill. That's real. I'm in this to, I'm in this to be big. I don't want, I mean, even the the amazing life that I have now, I'm not even going to cap. I'm, I got a great life. You know, my family, everybody living, breathing, we get to chill, we hang out, we talk, we laugh, (laughs) but I, you know, that's not the end all be all for me. Right, right, right. I'm pushing every day for higher levels. Come on, sir. That's where I'm at, dog. Yeah, I love it, bro. Yo, if y'all getting value, do me a favor, y'all give us the hearts. Oh, yeah. yo, Trey, you body, yo, I, yo I, listen, bro. It's so much, I, yo, man. This, this, this I know, thing, man. Bro. Yeah, you know, and I'm gonna come back too, man. You know, I'm gonna come back and talk to you, bro. Yo, I, mean, I, really I, I, I know that this um this interview is very valuable. And like, yeah. soon as you reached out to me, and when I met you, you know, I I I, I definitely vibe with the energy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I don't I don't just. And you know this. I don't yeah. just get on the phone and, and, and you know get on interviews and just talk exactly. to anybody. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't. And but yeah. you're not just anybody. Your platform, when you explained it to me and explained to me what it was, I was ready. Wow, bro. I was ready because I know your audience. Your audience, wow. they want to hear this. They want to hear uplifting, <laughs> yeah. positive, motivating thoughts from Donald and Trey Cheney. It's just, it's just what it is, man. It's what it is, bro. Yo, Trey, listen, man. This is crazy because, you know, I oftentimes tell people, I said, you know, your journey is not really just making it to the top. You're, you know, your 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 success is your journey. You feel what I'm saying? And if yeah, you the journey, journey, um, yeah, the journey is in the, no, the blessing is in the journey. In the journey. The not blessing the is in the journey. It because is. what happens is while you're on the journey, when things get, crazy for you like i said you go through struggles trials yeah. and tribulations pain yeah. you ain't making a lot of money that's Same when way. true character comes out that's when you find out who you really are and Yo. don't man don't get me wrong i done been humble so many different times i mean one minute you might be up with bread man the next minute man that bank account be low say that but man. at the same time you you like i said you living and breathing so you got another shot got another if shot. I, every day i wake up First thing I do, I open my eyes. I thank God. That's the first Come thing. On, That's I pray that water be right beside the bed. I drink that water. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I get that workout in. Boom. Yeah. 
Yeah. I get freshened up, I get right, and then I'm I'm in the world. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't know what's getting ready to happen in the world. Fact. But I, I know I'm getting ready to go out here and, and try to make the bet. Well, hold up, my bad. I don't use the word try. Come on. That's I don't right. use the word try, bad, can't, or need. Right. I go out here and do. Right. I'm a doer. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and I and that's on anything. Yeah. Whether it's remembering 20 pages of dialogue, like I had to yeah. do for 13 hours yesterday, so getting yeah. up, going to go do interviews on the news. On Fox on. Five the next day, talking to you on this podcast, it, it's I yeah. I'm like I said before, I'm wired different. I don't have time to, and then I don't got time to think about what I don't have. Right, right. Well, I don't have on, time man. to think about what I don't have. So I'm loving it because there's a lot that I want right now that I might not have, but it's like, all right, well, look, how am I going to utilize my time and not let nobody waste my time? While I'm on this journey, getting all these blessings and headed towards major, major success. Yeah, absolutely. You feel me? I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. Trey, let me, you know, and of of course, like you oftentimes talk about the downfall. And, you know, I was reading up on uh, Seth Gooden, you know, and he was talking about the dip. You know how everybody sometimes, no matter what it is that you, you start a new life, you start a new business, you start a new career. You know, everybody got that honeymoon stage until we hit yeah. that particular dip. And you just talked about that as to where we're up and down and in and out. He says something interesting. He says, you know, there are three things that happen in the dip. Either you're falling out of the vision that you once had. You know, the second part is either you're standing still and you're only existing. Mm-hmm. Or the third thing is either you're moving, but you're not moving as fast as you want to go. You know, and and in that dip moment, you know, you try to evaluate, like you said, that's where the blessing is. That's where you gather yourself together. You begin to learn who you really are and and whatever your beliefs are. Do they really exist in you? That vision that you wanted. And like you said, look, you get up early in the morning. I always talk about reasons come first, then results. You know, 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 it's not going to happen. Let me ask you real quick, Trey, because I know we ain't got that much time, but I want to ask you. Okay. I hate to use the word failure. I like to use the word learn. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Failed, yeah. you know? But what was your learn moment in your life? And how did that learn moment set you up for the success that you have even today and on, on the way to where you're going? Well, the learn moment for me, definitely the biggest one was probably after the wire ended in me thinking that all of this success was just going to come just because I was on a big show. Yeah. That was that was my learn moment because that was a learning and humbling moment. I got yeah. humbled. Yeah. I had to get out here and recreate and rebrand who Trey Cheney was for people to even know who I was. So that was a learning moment. Not I let grass grow under my feet during that time. Gotcha. And and after that time, after I felt that pain and that struggle, I never did it again. Wow. I said, oh, no, nah, we I, this ain't happening no more. Yeah. One, yeah. Once one job in, boom, I'm on to the next. And, you know, and I don't and I never look at a job as being too big or too small. Yeah. Yeah. Any job that I get, if I'm working, if I got one line. Mm-hmm. Or if I got 50 lines, or if I'm the star of it, or if I'm a co-star or a supporting actor, it's it's a job, it's big. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm yeah. running, that, that's how I'm planning. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Trey, let me tell you, you know what I love about it, man. And you said it, you said it big time. Because again, you know, I, I I'm starting to you know move into a little bit of the cinematography, being a DP and stuff like that, mm-hmm. learning the cast and stuff like that. And I mean, I, I love the art of it. I love it all. You feel the same, but what I love about what you said one day on our, one of the interviews that you've had, you says, there's no such thing as extras. You are somebody. It's you no, and you know what? I'm glad you picked up on that because now me as a producer, me as a director, me as an executive, I, um, you know, I'm the reason why a Naughty Christmas Story got done. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. my film that's on Tubi right now. I want everybody to go watch it called Shut A Naughty up. Christmas Story. It's mm-hmm. out there, it's number one. But when I established the people that were around me on set, I don't look at people as extras and I wanted to get out of using that term extra. If you want a Trey Chaney or Chaney vision entertainment set of television, Mm -hmm. film, commercial, music video, you're not an extra, even if you don't have a line, come on, you know what I'm saying? Because one thing I don't do, I don't sleep on nobody. Say that, say that man. God can bring a a homeless person from the ground, from the bottom up. You know what I'm saying? He can turn a homeless person into a multi-billionaire. Then what? Then right. everybody ain't walking past him no more, right? Trying to give him change. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody looking like, oh, man, now that people want to talk. So my thing is, everybody that's around Trey Cheney, and, and you can ask anybody this. I, yeah. People talk about me. And shout out, man. You know what? I, I seen this yeah. quote the other day. Shout yeah. out to anybody that's taking care of Trey Cheney's name when I'm not in the room. 
Ooh. I get that a lot. People reach out to me and say, man, I was with somebody, man. I didn't even know they knew who you was, but my energy being around anybody, I'm promoting positivity. Yeah. So you automatically going to get nuggets. You know what I'm saying? Come on, sir. Come on, man. So true. Yo, Trey, man, you, you, yo, you're an awesome brother, man. So Thank like, you, man. You, you are too, love, bro. No, I, I really, really appreciate you. And let me tell you, bro, you know, uh, one of the things that I do also value about you, bro, is that you are a family man, you know? Yeah. And we oftentimes talk about the Bible, how, you know, you know, women, you know, wives submit yourself to your husbands, you know? Mm -hmm. But I tell you one thing, I'm not trying to get biblical or nothing like that, but I, I realize, you know, that there can't no woman, you know, submit to no man unless he submit to God first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, That's how it. I feel. You feel me? Because he'll tell me exactly what to do. You know what I'm saying? My wife and I, we've come through the ups, downs, ins, and outs. We made mistakes and stuff like that. And that's just the value of marriage, marriage. and union. You know? <laughs> yeah. One day, her and I, we were going through a little something. And I want to shout out to my, you know, my uh, mother-in-law, you know, my father-in-law. He's, he's deceased now to be with God. But they, they both sent us to an India Ari uh, concert. And we were just, you know, we're funny when we're not speaking sometimes. We're funny. We are so funny, man. I sometimes sit back and I just laugh at us because I'm like, I think we're kind of cute when we're like this. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, but we weren't speaking that night, but we still went to the concert and stuff like that. And India Ari, man, she laid it on us. She says, life is supposed to hurt. You know, life is like a shell. You got to break the shell. But in, yeah. in, the, in the midst of whatever hurts that you find, earth has the healing in it because everything has this, this, this place is reciprocal. You know, you get sickness, you got medication to get, you know what I'm saying? You get your remedies and all the earthly, you know, stuff that you need to be able to get healed by, it, rather it's tea or natural herbs or whatever the case may be. But I love what it was that she said to us because by that night, was when it was over, we were, it was like nothing had ever happened. You feel what I'm saying? And the reason I'm saying that, Trey, is because not to bring in the Irene, it just the, the, the reason I'm saying this is because number one, you coming on this platform, it's not even about clout, bro. It yeah. was about, I wanted to talk to people who really need. You know, inspiration, who need motivation to say, yo, look, sis, bruh, you can get up from the couch and, and just put the ice cream down. You feel what I'm saying? You can get up, go <laughs> take a walk, start, you know, start writing stuff down, start getting stuff because if Trey could do it, Donald's trying to do it. You know, what I'm saying if, if we can come together and do bro, listen, we can do it. I can't you can't do you. It's no excuse, bro. My brother uh David Quiones was somebody who started out, you know, what I'm saying uh, packing bags. I was kind of like the spoiled dude. But I had to learn, you see what I'm saying, during the case of what it is to be able to live life and, and to be able to put stuff down on paper and out of your head, but become accountable for it. And to know that you could, you have the permission to do it. You see yeah. what I'm saying? I look at the stuff. And you know do. what we got to stop doing, Donald? And I'm I'm going I'm to wrap up in a minute because I, you know, yeah, I yeah, no, we got to go. We got to go. Yeah. But we have to stop asking for permission. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it comes to our careers, our jobs, anything that we want to do in life, we have yeah. to stop asking for permission. I'm no longer asking nobody, hey, I, I, I'm trying to do this or I, what do you think about this? I'm not asking nobody if it's something that I got in my heart that I want to do that Absolutely. I know could possibly change the world because yeah. that's that's what's happening in my life now. Every time yeah. I speak, every time you see me, if I walk in a room, yeah, people yeah. understand who's walking in the room. Exactly. And that's without me saying anything, you know, exactly. so I'm now that I'm understanding that that's the path that I'm on. And I can see that in you, too, brother. And mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, man, I really appreciate you, man, for this. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? As soon as this comes out, please yeah. post this so I can take clips from it. I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I know that you're working on a nice, great thing and you got many things that you're working on, but I'm not going to, you know, disclose everything else. But yeah, brother, <laughs> look, Trey, man, look, I know you got to go. There's so much yeah. we're going to talk about. But like you said, you'll be back. And I appreciate I'm coming it. back. You know that. Because I, I, really I love this interview you, and I love your platform. Thank what you, I want man. everybody to do right now, follow Trey Chaney on Trey Chaney Vision. That's um, T-R-A-Y-C-H-A-N-E-Y-V-I-S-I-O-N. That's on Instagram. Okay. So Trey Chaney Vision. And then on Twitter, it's at Trey Chaney. T-R-A-Y-C-H-A-N-E-Y. -E on you. TikTok, it's Trey Chaney 1. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's Trey Chaney One, and that's my YouTube page as well, Trey Chaney yeah. One. But yeah. definitely, right now, before I wrap, get yeah. all get on ChaneyWay.com. The merch is up there. You see the wire hoodies behind me right that, now. The merch is up there. That? The Yo, King and Queen hoodie. You and yeah. you and wifey definitely got to get that King and Queen hoodie. Oh, absolutely. I can see y'all yeah. in that right I'm now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see y'all in that right now. Like, that's I mean, you, you get that, and the wire <laughs> joint is up there. The book. The true Absolutely. camera, the documentary is up. I want yeah. everybody on this platform right now. Hit Chaneyway.com, 
man, you okay. got this interaction direct to consumer. Trey Cheney is here. Far. I love everybody. Yo, we love you, bro. And uh, I want you to do me a favor. Just text me and everything, all the information. So I could put that in the show notes and stuff like that <laughs> so that people know exactly where to go. Yo, Trey, thank you so much, man, for just being who you are. You feel what I'm saying? Keep doing it. We're going to follow you from, for wherever you wherever you go, whatever you're going to do. We're going to be here, man. We're going to support you. You know what I'm saying? You, your lovely wife, and your family, brother. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm doing... putting in the, I'm putting in the chat right now. Yeah, put it in the chat, site. brother. I appreciate yeah, I'm putting you. in the chat right now because I see all y'all, man. And just peace <laughs> and love, changeway.com. Yes, when you go yes, to grab sir. all of the merch and everything, I just yes, click sir. chat with everyone in the studio. I click changeway.com. I got and, you. Um, make sure, man, y'all post this. Anybody that's watching this right now, we want Donald's platform to be the biggest podcast in the world. Oh, we need man. to go ahead and post this. So I need mm-hmm. the clips like the mob. Yes, I got, you. I got you. I'm going I'm to clip this you. joint up and we're going to go with it. I appreciate you, man. Yo, Trey. Thank you for the love, man. My wife and I, the whole platform, on behalf of our whole platform, and we appreciate you, man. You feel what I'm saying? Man, love for life, bro. Thank you. Yo, y'all, this is Trey Trainers. Go follow him, y'all. We're going to hear more from him. Yo, Trey, man, and your travels be safe, brother. All right? You know, Thank you, know, man. I appreciate it. You, up, man. you know, this not the, this not the end. It's the beginning. You know what I'm saying? All right, fam. Peace. All right, man. Thank you so much, man. Yo, listen, y'all. Listen, if y'all really enjoy Trey Trainee tonight, y'all, do me a favor. You know what I'm saying? Put a, put a, a heart emoji. Put something. And I want to just say this real quick before we get off. And again, I know that uh, it's, it'd normally go to seven o'clock. We wanted to have this special, you know, time and occasion, you know, so, so that he can come in. I know he had mass, a lot of stuff you have to do, but listen, it's nothing nobody can't do and no, nothing you can't accomplish. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you something. One of the things that we have to learn, you know, is that we have to learn how to spread love, love each other, stick with each other, know that you need each other. You'll be crazy to say, I don't need this person. I don't see, I don't need that person. And I'm going to make it without that person. I'm going to tell you something. You're a horrible and miserable person if you ever feel that way. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because there's certain people, no, don't get it twisted. Some people in life you don't need. But there's some people in life that God ordained to be in your life, to make things in your life and your dreams happen. I'm a living witness of it. I'm in, I'm in transformation, not only just here, but everywhere else in my life. And I'm so appreciative. You feel what I'm saying? to be able to do these things and to be able to have the opportunity to share great people on this very, very platform. If anybody would have told me in 2003 that something like this was going to happen in 2024, I would look at them like they were crazy. You see what I'm saying? But we're, help, we're here. We're doing what we have to do. And God bless you, Trey Trainees. You are a blessing to our life. And guess what, y'all? There's more. Yo, listen. If I could tell y'all, I'm going to put my... There's more coming, y'all. There is more coming. Oh, my God. Just met somebody tonight, and we just sealed the deal on something else great that's about to happen. Y'all look out for it. This platform is going to be absolutely fantabulous, not because of Donald Francis, but because of all of you and all of them who back this platform up to be able to bring positivity and so that people can move into their destiny and take, here's that word, Dave, actionable steps, you know what I'm saying, to fulfill all their dreams. Listen, y'all, this your boy, Donald Francis. And we're about to be over now as we land the plane. Listen, I'm going to uh, be sure to promote everybody's, you know, ad and stuff like this, this time tomorrow. But I want it to be about trading that you get value and you get everything that you need. I'm going to make sure that everything that, you know, everything that he left will be in the show notes and in the description down below. Listen, y'all, until then, I can't wait to see you tomorrow morning. I got to get home to wifey. You feel what I'm saying? By the way, I want to say shout out because you made that wonderful meat love one that you can make tonight. But anyway, look, look, y'all, this is your boy Donald Francis, y'all. And until tomorrow, I love y'all. Take what you've learned and go do something great with it. Go make somebody's day. Go tell somebody you care about them. Because I'm going to tell you, tomorrow's not promised to none of us, y'all. Tomorrow's not promised to any of us. Like Trey said, tomorrow's not promised. You know what I'm saying? Go and reinvent yourself. Go do something to reinvent your life and say, yo, the stuff, the dreams that I put away, go pick that back up. Go put it in paper. Go bring it into manifest. Manifest that thing today by putting it into action and using your hands. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow, y'all. Love y'all. And...